Hello YouTube and Group 51, this is XOR3D. We'll be starting a tutorial and install it, installing, downloading, installing and configuring Soros. First we need to open Firefox and explore well, your default web browser. Type in Soros. And you should generally find it's the first one up to the top. You've got two versions here. You've got the open source and non source. Generally, if you're watching this guide, you'll notice the source, so just click start here. Want to get open source, download it, and from there, we'll start beginning. You need to click the get one, which is usually the last one. You don't want um, the live CD because it's not really any point in showing you how to do this thoroughly. Um, but yep, yeah, generally just click this, click submit, or no, just click close, and it'll come down as an OSOL ISO file. So you want to download this and just wait generally wait for the 677 megabytes I'll pause the video until it's finished downloading okay now you can see that we're done here downloading um, open source so I want to just click open yep you can see I've probably got a lot of stuff in here I'll drag that out close this so you don't need to see that anymore right this as well and we went to open some virtual box which I showed you in my first tutorial how to install so we'll open that I'll drag that down here send close this anyway guys do you like my um, wallpaper came with Windows 7 I think it's quite kind of cool right so you want to open a new virtual machine press next and give it a name so we'll just put OS for open Soros um, Soros there isn't open Soros and uh, next I'm going to give it 512 and uh, next um, create a new hard disk let's go for a primary master for this one next and um, dynamically expanding give it 16 gig yep let's get 16 gig that's what it's going to install and this is going to be called 16gig512 open source names OS finish we'll go as to set up so we want to go into settings again and we'll do the CDs, mount CD ISO image browse add desktop, open source, select and uh, so we'll make sure that that's correct fiddle about with any of these if you like to after it's installed don't worry too much before it's installed and power it on it's, um, uh, the host defined key is a right control click so Generally, you can find that done about me your keyboard. I'll just click that, don't click that. It's up to you. I'll just click in here. And um, what one would I like to install? Just the first one. Well, open anyway. Let's see. Turn on a subject, license term, blah blah. Just pick a language. I'm going to be doing um, 42, but I'll just do 40. Um, I'll do 42 for all these Americans. It's 43, 
fit in the rails, generally just find the language is not nice. Enter that and select the keyboard layout. Again, I'm going to have to cut six for English. If you're Polish, 16, Slovakian, 19, blah blah blah, you know what. I hope this doesn't take forever, it's in YouTube's 10 minute limit. Well, I'll just let that run. Uh, if you come up any errors, there's generally usually documentation on the Open Solar site to do with the errors. So it's just like, whether that's doing that, I'll jump onto this for a second. Um, this is a virtual machine. Um, if you were in the meeting on G51 with Taz, Mr. S, and others, it was, it was showing you how to. Um, the general about open source. So there's a console login, so I think it's root and uh, no password. I might be wrong. No, nope. it's root and no password. So yep, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is hopefully you can see this. Well, it says open source um, o OS running. Um, by the way, this open source is open source as far as I'm aware. So you can develop stuff with it and that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, somewhere I remember seeing something about I can't remember I think it's open source anyways right we've got it here this is um, open source right you've got um, stuff here stuff here like this um, install get ready Firefox drivers open source Wired connections, time and date. This American time or uh, something like this. I'm not hundred percent sure about that one. So um, yep. On the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install from the live CD that I've just showed you how to do. Thank you. So T51.